is doing injustice is wrong and bad for people. And this is just another measure this government is doing. We are opposed to it. It won't help people who need it most, and it will be bad for the justice system. Scott Simpson. Mr Speaker, as uh, Chairman of the Justice and Electoral Select Committee, it's a great pleasure for me to stand and rise in support of the second reading of this Legal Assistance Amendment Bill this afternoon. Uh, and in so doing, Mr Speaker, I'd like to congratulate the Minister, the Honourable Judith Collins, on her very good introductory comments, because prudent fiscal management lies at the very core of this John Key national-led government. It's about ensuring the use of hard-earned taxpayers' money is well spent, while at the same time making sure that the investment that's made by the Crown of taxpayer money in tight economic times is, extracts absolute maximum value. Andrew Little stated uh, that, and I thought uh, wisely so given that he's from the Labour Party, that the state's coffers are not bottomless. But he absolutely chose to ignore any kind of attempt at providing a solution as to how the state might fund a bottomless legal aid requirement. Uh, and especially so given our, uh, our, our difficult uh, financial times. Legal aid expenditure, Mr Speaker, increased by a massive 55% between the years 2006-07 and 2009-10. And this growth, had it not been uh, uh, focused upon, would have resulted in a massive $402 million legal aid funding gap over five years. So the current legal aid system in its form was unsustainable, and National has taken action to bring this under control. We're committed as a government to ensuring that the legal aid system remains affordable in the future and that legal aid is available for those who need it most. We want to make sure, Mr Speaker, that legal aid is available for those who need it while also ensuring that it remains absolutely affordable because our proposals are designed to save $138 million over four years. Now, these changes, Mr Speaker, won't, as the Labor Party implies, affect cases involving vulnerable parties. Uh, they won't make uh, any changes where care and protection of children are involved or where there are serious criminal matters. The bill is designed to get parties to resolve more minor legal matters between themselves rather than through the courts. And, Mr Speaker, that's a very good premise upon which to work. And while we make sure that legal aid is there for those who need it most, this bill strikes a very good balance between ensuring that the viability of the current legal aid scheme is continued and at the same time prioritises funding to people who have the highest need for legal help. So what have we done so far in terms of legal aid reform? Well, this government has started to reform legal aid to improve the quality and to reduce costs. Costs after eligibility and lawyers' fees were expanded previously under the last Labor government. And they did so without any real regard to the cost of that scheme. We passed the Legal Services Act, which, amongst other measures, established performance standards for legal aid lawyers. We expanded the Public Defence Service to take up to take up to half of all criminal defence cases, and we made victims of serious crime eligible for legal aid for coronial inquests and parole hearings. Mr Speaker, this bill provides greater flexibility to adjust eligibility into the future and for in improvements in the assessment of eligibility. The reforms include a tightening of the merits test for family cases by no longer needing to take into account the interests of other vulnerable parties. The Act adjusts the special circumstances consideration in the means test for family and civil cases so that it focuses on the expensive cases. There are a raft of other measures in the bill, Mr Speaker, that have been addressed and worked through by the Minister's SOP and by the Select Committee. And I want to congratulate and thank members of the Select Committee for the work that they have done. Mr Speaker, this is a good bill. The Honourable Judith Collins made excellent comments in her introductory remarks. I absolutely commend it to the House. Right. Honourable